Hello everyone, uh, my presentation is based on what I heard on the podcast The Good Stuff by Annie Leonard, realized in the studios of Reuse Radio in Oakland, California in 2013. So the main subject I'm going to talk about is plastic bags. We'll first take a look uh, on the interview of Andy Keller, the creator of the Chico Bag. And then we'll talk about the interview of Rose Timmer, an ecological activist of Brownsville, Texas. So first, let's introduce my presentation by talking about the plastic bags. You have never seen a plastic bag in your life? Impossible. They are everywhere, including the streets, the sea, and even your washing machine. And do you know the average number of plastic bags used by only one American per year? 500. Andy Killer once went to his local waste disposal and he was shocked and disgusted by what he saw. A sea of plastic bags. He was also upset of finding plastic bags that were blowing in the wind to his garden or his fence. He decided to stop using plastic bags and to use his sewing machine to create a reusable small bag that he could take in his pocket. He called this bag the Chico bag. This bag has had a massive success, so much that three plastic bag companies sued him because his bags were displacing too much of their plastic bags. Their claim was that he was using an inaccurate number on his website, number that came from the Environmental Protection Agency, but also that the creation of his bag would train the disappearance of the plastic bag coalition. It's funny to know that there is a coalition to protect something that is polluting a lot. After time and money spent, the charges against him were finally abandoned. He now has, or at least when the podcast was released, three full-time employees. But he didn't stop here. He also created the Bag Monster, which consists to cover his body with 500 plastic bags to show Americans how many plastic bags they use per year. He went to the street to show people how many plastic bags they use. Here are two kind of answers. The first one was, I never realized I used that many bags. And the second one was, I use way more bags than that. You have to keep in mind that it's an average number which means that some people are using only a few or maybe not any plastic bags and some are using huge amounts of plastic bags. The truth is that no one needs to use that many plastic bags if it is not just no plastic bag at all. Any learner is then reminding us that the fact that something can be recycled doesn't mean that you can consume as much as you want as long as it is. She went in Hong Kong, in China, in India, in Philippines and in Indonesia where a lot of trash is sent by Europe and American countries so as to be recycled. But when she went in a local waste disposal, she saw that only a few of the recyclable plastic was really recycled. The rest is just burnt, and it is releasing a lot of little particles in the atmosphere, which is really not good. This is why we have to not take only care about recycling, but also about reducing our consumption. Andy Keller is concluding by explaining us that creating his bag and investigating himself again plastic bags has been a really good adventure for him. Maybe even fun. He met new people, he started to produce less litter, and he was happier in his everyday life. He loved what he was doing, and he was even a bit stressed given the scale that his project was expanding to. But the most important is that he respected the principle that his father sought him. Always leave a place better than how you found it. Secondly, let's talk about Rose Timmer and how she involved herself for Brownsville in Texas. Brownsville is a poor city located at the border of the United States and Mexico. There are a lot of industries next to the city and there is a lot of people in there because the main road of Brownsville is the junction between the Rio Grande and Matamoros in Mexico. Am I the only one with Annie Leonard to find strange that a city that has a lot of problems like unemployment or healthcare is focusing on its reduction of plastic bags and has even declared a mandate that bans plastic bags from the city? This has only been possible thanks to the health community of the city. This non-profit association is focusing on environmental issues like littering, throwing trash, recycling, reducing, removing litter in the streets, etc. The mayor of the city approached one of the association's members and it gave them the opportunity to meet a city commission. They showed people that even if 
there were huge problems like healthcare or unemployment, the plastic bags were also a really big problem. After sharing a survey during 90 days in the city, they showed the results to the commission and convinced them to get rid of plastic bags in the city. They also convinced the Walmarts and different grocery stores surrounding the city to not use any more plastic bags. The project BYOB, Bring Your Own Bag, was also a really good initiative. When you go to the mall, you can exchange 10 plastic bags against one reusable one. All those initiatives trained the disappearance of the plastic bag in the city, and the inhabitants were very happy. There is no more flying bags, no more bags in the trees or in the fences. But the community didn't stop here. They went into schools to explain children what are the problems with plastic and trash. And they even created a contest in the city, which consisted to make as many pictures as possible of trash. A private school of Brownsville also created a fashion contest, but where clothes are made only from plastic and recyclable stuff. In Brownsville, recycling has become a habit, and now it's more fun than a constraint for the population. Their new project is to eradicate cigarette butts and plastic bottles. To conclude this presentation, we can say that plastic bags look like a small problem, but they are actually are important, so we need to fight them. For every environmental issue, you'll always find at least one solution that contributes to improve the situation. We have seen here that a local community action or the design of a new product can contribute a lot to eliminate waste. The final objective to all those movements is to create a sustainable and fair society. Recycling is not just throwing your rubbish in the right dustbin. It also means that you are going to create or join a community that has the same convictions as you. You're going to make new friends. And all of this will get funnier than it ever had before for you.